I really love taking photos, but I try hard not to take it too seriously. I don't use fancy cameras or expensive lenses. I have a couple point and shoots, a Polaroid, and some toy cameras. I'm not the best in the world at it, but I do have a lot of fun doing it, and that's what's important to me. Because of this, I've never used a backpack made for my camera. I've always kind of just thrown it in my bag. But today, I'm going to try out a dedicated camera bag for the first time. Well, kind of. Because while the Brevity Jumper is made to be a camera bag, I'm going to use it in my own way, as a weekend personal item only backpack that just so happens to fit a camera. If you aren't familiar with Brevity, they are a New York based company started by three brothers. I'd say they're more of a lifestyle brand than a techie travel company, which makes sense because their social media presence is enormous. On their website, they even refer to themselves as the internet's favorite backpack brand. Their products come in a bunch of different colors and they have a fun kind of useful aesthetic. Their bags are made with recycled materials and they donate backpacks to homeless in New York. So when you buy from Brevity, you know you are helping out to do some good. So the backpack we are looking at today is called the Jumper. And like I said in the intro, this bag is going to be primarily used as a camera bag. Although the company did come up with some cool features that make the backpack super versatile, including removable dividers that can turn it into a normal backpack. But out of the box, the main pocket is split into the top area for everyday carry and the bottom area for your camera and accessories. There's also a quick access zipper into the main pocket so you can snag your camera easily. There's a laptop sleeve for up to a 16 inch laptop, a water bottle pocket that can hold up to a 40 ounce bottle, a front organizer pocket for smaller items like cords or headphones, a luggage pass through, bottom straps for a tripod or a yoga mat, and even this small hidden passport pocket. The jumper comes in a regular size of 18 liters, which is what we're looking at here, and a larger size of 22 liters. Both options are made with a 600D polyester, and they both come in 11 different colorways. The 18 liter retails for 169 US dollars, and the 22 liter comes in at 189. All right, so to be honest, this bag is not going to be for everyone. The materials are not as thick as some of the more travel focused companies and the shoulder straps leave a lot to be desired. However, the style of this bag is classic. And when you support this company, it means you support some really good causes. And you know what? It's a trendy bag to carry, so you will get some cool points too. The thing I like best about the jumper is it's yours to customize. Do you have a lot of cameras? Great. Change the pads around and pack up your lenses, your flashes, your tripods. Do you just carry a point and shoot? Awesome. Remove the pads and turn this into a weekend travel bag. It's really up to you. And I'm going to do the latter because that's the best use case for me. And at the end of the day, packing is really up to the individual's needs. So before I pack this thing up, I wanted to thank Brevity for sending me this bag to try out. And if you like this thing as much as I do, be sure to use my affiliate link in the description as it helps out the channel. So now let's get to it. I'm going to pack up my camera along with everything that I would take for a three day weekend trip. And remember, each person packs differently. So try to envision what you would bring along as you watch. First up is my Olympus Trip 35 camera. And this camera was first introduced in 1967 and then was in production until 1984. The one I have here is refurbished, including this really nice outside brown leather that was added to it. It's a 35 millimeter zone focus camera, which means there's four different positions you can set it to, to focus. And as you can see around the lens, the camera is actually solar powered, so you don't even need a battery to use it, which is really convenient. Next up is a book of poetry called Actual Air by the late great David Berman, who you may know as the lead singer of the band Silver Jews. But this is just a great book of poetry and it includes one of my favorite poems of all time, Self Portrait at 28. And as you know, I really like to try and read on trips. I've really been trying to do it. So this is just an easy one to throw in the bag.
And next up is going to be my iPad. And I found this just really convenient to travel with recently, a lot more so than my standard laptop that I usually bring along. And if I don't feel like reading or going on the iPad on the flight, I'm gonna pull out my RG28XX from Anbernic. And this little handheld emulator is awesome. I've really been enjoying games from my youth like Crazy Taxi or any of the Sonic games. And right now I'm playing Toe Jam and Earl. We'll throw a charger and some cords in there just so we can keep everything powered up. And then onto my toiletries. And this is a new bag that I recently got from Pioneer Carry, and this is their global pouch, but it's been working so well as a toiletry bag. As you can see, everything fits in here really nicely. I love the size and the materials used to make this. Now onto some clothing, and the first shirt we have here is a Nugget Nectar Ale shirt from the brewery Trogues in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And this is one of my favorite breweries in the country. Next up is a vintage Alfred Hitchcock Good Evening shirt, which my uncle gave me maybe 20 years ago, but I'm still getting great use out of it. Next up, we have the We Can Discover the Wonders of Gritty shirt. And if you don't know, Gritty is the mascot for the Philadelphia Flyers, which is the hockey team that I support. And as you can tell, this is a mashup uh, with the Grateful Dead logo. And this was a limited release shirt created by Jeremy Dean. And if you don't know Jeremy Dean, he's kind of the in-house designer for the Dead now. So any new merch you see from them is probably coming from him. Now we'll throw in some athletic shorts just so I have something to sleep in while I'm on this weekend trip. And remember, I'll also be wearing, you know, a pair of pants, a shirt, a hat while I am traveling. So I will be reusing those pants every day while I am on this trip. Next up, we have three pairs of boxer briefs. These are the ones from Gap. And three pairs of socks from Bombas. And that's kind of going to round out everything that I'm going to bring on this trip. So now that everything's laid out, it's time to pack it all up. And I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to fit everything in this bag. I'll start by putting this padding in the side of the main pocket. And this is where I'm going to put my camera. Next to that, I'm going to place all of my t-shirts. And you may notice I didn't roll my shirts this time. That's because they just fit a little bit better folded like this. Next, we're gonna add in my shorts. Then we're going to put in my underwear and my socks. Thank you. 
After that, we're going to go into this smaller compartment in the front. And this is where we're gonna put my Ann Burnick RG28XX. As well as my cords. And we're also gonna fit that book in here too. Now up to the top, we're gonna reserve this entire pocket just for my toiletries up here. And we'll leave a little space just in case I do bring anything back home with me. And now onto the back of the bag, we're gonna open up this laptop compartment and this is where my iPad is gonna go for the trip. So now that you've seen this thing packed up, I wanna know what you think of this bag. Uh, is it just a trendy bag that's popular on social media or is this something that you actually would use? Do your research on this one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm still a little undecided, so I wanna see what you guys think. Thanks for watching and be sure to join me in the next video. And if you found this video useful at all, be sure to give it a like and subscribe.